In today's show, I'm going to be sharing with you the three reasons why Bitcoin has dropped to 21,000 and the market-wide sell-off could be worse than you think. Quitting Matthew Highland, if 20,700 doesn't hold for Bitcoin, probably looking at going to 19,000 again and quitting Charles Edwards. Hash ribbon buy signal, the Bitcoin miner capitulation has officially ended today, making it the third longest capitulation in history at 71 days. This capitulation zone was longer than 2021 and just two days shorter than 2018's where the price touched $3,100. And quitting crypto analyst Gert Van Lagen on the Bitcoin one day, time for a blow off wave to $100,000 plus. Invalidation dropped below $17,500. And check this out. The Bitcoin network settled over $62 trillion with the Bitcoin in the last 12 months. That's over five times the market cap of gold. Also in today's show, crypto trader who predicted the Bitcoin collapse this year issues a fresh new Bitcoin warning, quitting crypto capo. Any test of 23,500 as resistance is a good sell opportunity. Consolidation below 22,500 would be very bearish and equal 21,000 or lower. New lows are just a matter of time. Also in today's show, it's time to go shopping, says the ex BitMEX CEO Arthur Hayes after the crash. If the merge is successful, traders will buy ETH today, knowing that the higher the price goes, the more the network will be used and the more deflationary it will become, driving the price higher, causing the network to be used more and so on and so forth. This is a virtuous circle for the bulls. Also in today's show, $300,000 Bitcoin price in the next six years, says Donald Trump's former comms director. That's right. We're talking about Anthony Scaramucci of Skybridge Capital, quoting him here in the next six years. If we are right, if Bitcoin goes to 300000 a coin, it will not matter whether you bought it at 20000 or $60,000. Also in today's show, top crypto strategist at $1.3 billion crypto fund says Bitcoin can explode over 2,200% and shares his timeline. That's right. And a new stance very research interview, Bitwise executive Matt Hoogan says Bitcoin can rally by over 2,273% from its current price of 21,000, reaching a half a million dollars per coin. And he believes Bitcoin will come close to gold's market cap of more than $11 trillion. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this, plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. I also do a $50 Bitcoin giveaway every single day. But today is special. We're going to be giving away $100. So two winners of $50 in Bitcoin. And the first winner is, congratulations, Noah Oliver. He wrote the following comment. Keep up showing daily news. Congrats, Noah. You just won $50 in Bitcoin. Please reply to this comment with your Bitcoin address. Hoddle. And the next winner of $50 in Bitcoin is Adrian Griffin. Congratulations. He wrote the following comment, short and sweet. Yay. Good day, bro. Congrats, fam. You just won $50 in Bitcoin too. Please reply with your Bitcoin address. Cheers. And to qualify to win $50 in tomorrow's $50 Bitcoin giveaway, just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Will Smith, that like button and drop a comment below and a random comment will be selected as the winner in tomorrow's episode. Best of luck. And today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. Investors. And did you know you can get up to $1,000 in Bitcoin when you buy, sell, or trade crypto with BlockFi using my referral link in the description right down below? That's because they've been a sponsor of the show here for two years. So we have this exclusive offer for you to take advantage of. Now, I personally love their trading platform because you can buy, sell, and trade all the top cryptos, including USD-based stablecoins, right through the BlockFi app. You can do instant trades with ACH. You can trade 24-7, as well as set up repeat trades to automate your crypto portfolio. And another flagship product of theirs is their BlockFi. Bitcoin Rewards, Visa Credit Card, where you can get an unlimited 1.5% back in crypto on everything you buy. Also, there are no annual fees, and you can see if you are approved with no impact to your credit score. So go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below, and let's get this crypto, shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and welcome to podcast episode number 1023. On Friday, August 19th, the total crypto market cap dropped by 9.1%, but more importantly, the all-important $1 trillion psychological support was tapped, meaning investors were pretty confident that the $780 billion total market cap low on June 18th was a mere distant memory. Now, regulatory uncertainty increased on August 17th after the U.S. House of Committee on Energy and Commerce 
Commerce announced that they were deeply concerned that proof-of-work mining could increase demand for fossil fuels, which you and I both know is nothing more than FUD. And as a result, U.S. lawmakers requested the crypto mining companies to provide information on energy consumption and average costs. Now, typically, sell-offs have a greater impact on cryptos outside the top five assets by market cap, but today's correction presented losses ranging from 7 to 14 percent across the board. Now, Bitcoin saw about a 10 percent loss as it tested 21,200, and Ether presented a 10.6 percent drop at its $1,675 intraday low. Now, some analysts might suggest that the harsh daily corrections, like the one seen today, is a norm rather than an exception, considering the asset 67 percent annualized volatility. And case in point, today's intraday drop in the total market cap exceeded 9 percent in 19 days over the past one year. But some aggravants are causing this current correction to stand out. Now for the number one reason, the Bitcoin price is likely to head lower. The Bitcoin futures premium vanish. The fixed month futures contracts usually trade at a slight premium to regular spot markets because sellers demand more money to withhold settlement for longer, technically known as contango. This situation is not exclusive to crypto assets. In healthy markets, futures should trade at 4 to 8% annualized premium, which is enough to compensate for the risks plus the cost of capital. And here you're looking at the Bitcoin three-month futures annualized premium. And according to OKX, the Dribbit Bitcoin futures premium, the 9.7% negative swing on Bitcoin caused investors to eliminate any optimism using derivative instruments. And when the indicator flips to the negative area, trading in backwardation, it typically means there is much higher demand from leverage shorts who are betting on further downside. Now for the second factor, leverage buyers' liquidations exceed $470 million. That's right, futures contracts are a relatively low cost and easy instrument that allows to use leverage. The danger of using them lies in liquidation, meaning the investor's margin deposit becomes insufficient to cover their positions. In this case, the exchange's automatic deleveraging mechanism kicks in and sells the crypto used as collateral to reduce the exposure. That's right, a trader might increase their gains by 10x by using leverage, but if the asset drops 9% from their entry point, the position is terminated. The derivatives exchange will proceed to sell the collateral, creating a negative loop known as a cascading liquidation. As depicted here in this chart, the August 19th sell-off presented the highest number of buyers being forced into selling since June 12th. Now for the third and final factor, while the Bitcoin price is expected to continue downwards, margin traders were excessively bullish and destroyed. That's right, margin trading allows investors investors to borrow crypto to leverage their trading position and potentially increase their returns. As an example, a trader could buy Bitcoin by borrowing Tether, thus increasing their crypto exposure. And on the other hand, borrowing Bitcoin can only be used to short it. And unlike futures contracts, the balance between margin longs and shorts isn't necessarily matched. And when the margin lending ratio is high, it indicates that the market is bullish. And the opposite, a low ratio signals that the market is bearish. All I got to say is this, with extreme volatility in the market like we have here in crypto, especially during these times, do not trade with leverage. If you do, expect to be liquidated because most traders do get liquidated. And before I break down next story of the day, crypto trader who predicted the Bitcoin collapse this year issues a fresh new Bitcoin warning. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, many of the major cryptos currently correcting and in the red. We got Bitcoin down 1.2% for the day, maintaining just above $21,200. We have Ether down 4%, trading just above $1,600, while Solana, Polkadot, and Cardano all correcting while Binance Coin, Avalanche, and XRP are pumping and in the green. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. The crypto trader and analyst who accurately predicted the King Crypto to crash below 23,000 months prior is issuing a fresh warning on the flagship digital asset. Synonymous crypto strategist Crypto Capo tells his 480,000 Twitter followers that it's just a matter of time before Bitcoin falls to new lows. That's right, in a new update to an earlier analysis where he laid out two different scenarios for Bitcoin, Capo says that the flagship crypto asset has taken the bearish option that can lead to the price dropping below $21,000. The alternative scenario involved Bitcoin turning bullish over the short term, quoting him here, second option playing out, any test of 23,500 as resistance is a good sell opportunity. Consolidation below 22,500 would be very bearish and equal 21,000 or lower. New lows are just a matter of time. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto analysts. And according to Capo, Bitcoin is currently in the fifth wave of the main downward trend, but could correct to the upside in a three wave pattern to the $23,500 level. Now the Elliott wave theory states that the main trend of the asset prices moves 
moves in a five wave pattern while they undergo a correction in a three wave pattern. Now the crypto strategist says that 23,500 would act as a strong resistance, pushing Bitcoin towards the $20,000 key area, as he tweeted here, option for 23,500 test as resistance, and someone responded, so most likely not touching $25,000 before correction. Capo responded, not likely now. Current resistance is 23,500. Break above there, and we can see 25,000. Now check this out. This takes us back to March 12th. He called it. Good morning. This is how I see Bitcoin now. Clean break of 38,000 equals 35,000. Break of 35,000 equals 30,000. Below 30,000, it should reach the main target of 21 to 23,000. Lo and behold, we hit that target, right? In Validation points remain the same, 45 to 46,000 and 51 to 52,000. Again, this is back in March of this year. And before I break down next story of the day, it's time to go shopping, says ex-BitMax CEO Arthur Hayes after the crash. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting just about $1 trillion, with about $80 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. The current Bitcoin dominance is 39.8%, with the Ether dominance at 19.5%. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers in the past 24 hours, we have Trust Wallet token leading the pack up 6.5%, trading at $1.04, followed by Decred up 5.6%, trading just above $29, followed by CeeLo up 4.7%, trading just above $0.90. Cents. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers for the past week, you can see a bloodbath, literally a sea of red with massive losses. For the altcoins, you got Hex down 33.8%, Lido down 33%, and CRV down 27%. And checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 29 out of 100 in fear. Yesterday a 33, last week a 46, and last month a 30 four in fear. Now let's break down our next story of the day. It's time to buy, says Hayes. In his latest Twitter thread on the price actions in the crypto market, the former BitMEX executive began by asking his nearly 300,000 followers whether they have a short-term or a long-term strategy in regard to investing in digital assets. We all know crypto is for the long haul, just pointing it out. If they're here for the short run, then the price action is ugly. In the opposite situation, it could mean you read the market wrong. In this case, investors have three options, according to Hayes, to cover, sit, it tight or add more. He believes that only those who had their investment thesis changed fundamentally should leave the market. Given an example with Ethereum and the merge, he asserted that if the long anticipated event gets canceled for some reason, that will make him worried about his position. And since this is not the case and the merge is still scheduled to undergo in the next several weeks, September 15th to be exact, Hayes remains a believer in the second largest blockchain protocol and suggested that it might be time to go shopping, as he shares here. If you tell me the ETH merge ain't happening or something occurs, Occurred, which severely diminishes its probability of success, then I would be worried about my long position. And he continues, if something critical happened to decrease the probability of a successful merge, I would expect the ETH slash Bitcoin cross to fall much lower than 0.079, given it has advanced off a of 0.05 local low in mid-June. And with that in mind, it might be time to go shopping. So there you have it, BTFD, buy that freaking dip. So yes, indeed, Hayes is obviously very bullish on the merge, the event that will finally see Ethereum transition from its energy intensive proof of work to a more nature friendly proof of stake. And in a recent blog post, the BitMEX co-founder said he believes there will be a sell the news moment, meaning that the price could retrace in the short term, but it would ultimately be positive for long-term investors. And he compared the merge to the Bitcoin halving and suggested that ETH could rally in the same fashion as Bitcoin has done in the past Quitting him here, if the merge is successful, traders will buy ETH today, knowing that the higher the price goes, the more the network will be used and the more deflationary it will become, driving the price higher, causing the network to be used more, and so on and so forth. This is a virtuous circle for the bulls. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Arthur Hayes and how many of you are currently bullish for ETH and the merge. Holla at your boy. And before I break down next story of the day, $300,000 Bitcoin in six years, says Donald Trump's former comms director, Anthony Scaramucci, as well as top crypto strategist at $1.3 billion crypto fund, says Bitcoin can explode by over 2,200%. And I'll share his timeline of this half a million dollar Bitcoin price prediction. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for details detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,200 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. And to qualify to win $50 in tomorrow's $50 Bitcoin giveaway, just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Will Smith, 
that like button and drop a comment below and a random comment will be selected as the winner on tomorrow's episode. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. The Bitcoin price has dropped more than 10% this week, erasing all of its August gains, despite one exchange CEO predicting you'll be able to buy a Bugatti, which is one Bitcoin by the end of 2022, referring to Jesse Powell, the Kraken CEO. And I covered that prediction in great detail in yesterday's episode. Now, after issuing two huge Bitcoin and Ethereum fair market value price predictions this month, Donald Trump's short-lived White House Director of Communications and the managing partner at asset manager Skybridge Capital, Anthony Scaramucci, has predicted the Bitcoin price can hit $300,000 in just six years and revealed the Ethereum challenger he has a very large position in. Quoting Scaramucci here, in the next six years, if we are right, if Bitcoin goes to $300,000 a coin, it will not matter whether you bought it at $20,000 or $60,000. Scaramucci, who served as President Donald Trump's comms director for just two weeks in 2017, told CNBC, I am just cautioning people the future is upon us. It is happening sooner than I thought. Now, Skybridge Capital, a New York-based fund of hedge funds, last year launched the Skybridge Bitcoin Fund with $310 million in assets under management, but in July was reportedly forced to suspend redemptions in another fund after sharp declines in stocks and crypto prices. And while Skybridge's largest crypto positions are in Bitcoin and Ethereum, Scaramucci says he bought Ethereum rival Solana and has a very large position in another Ethereum challenger, Algorand. Quoting him here, we think Algorand has award-winning technology, Scaramucci said, adding he is still pretty optimistic about Bitcoin and Ethereum over the next 12 to 24 months. Quoting him again here, you're going to see a lot more commercial activities there, he said, pointing to the improvement of Bitcoin's second layer, the Lightning Network, the increase in applications and ease of transactions on Bitcoin. The Bitcoin's growing Lightning Network is designed to speed up transactions, reduce fees, and even potentially allow it to compete more directly with Ethereum and other smart contract blockchains. Now, Scaramucci also said the recent news of a massive $10 trillion crypto game changer that could open the floodgates of institutional investors into Bitcoin and crypto will likely affect crypto prices as he shares here when this stuff happens i want to remind people that there's only 21 million bitcoins out there and you will have a demand shock with very little supply facts so there you have it and now let's break down our final story of the day the chief investment officer of crypto asset manager bitwise investments is unveiling his massive price target for bitcoin despite the ongoing bear market in a new stansbury research interview bitwise executive matt hugan says bitcoin could rally by over 2273 percent from its current price of 21,000, as he believes bitcoin will come close to gold's market cap of more than 11 trillion dollars quoting him here i think it is perfectly rational to to believe that Bitcoin can trade to half a million dollars over time. The way I picked that number out of the hat is if Bitcoin held as much wealth as it held in gold, it would be about half a million dollars of Bitcoin. And he says that he sees Bitcoin's market cap ascending to greater heights as Bitcoin outperforms gold as a store value asset. As he shares here, if you think out five or 10 years, can Bitcoin be as big a store of wealth as gold? I think the answer is yes. And that leads to a half a million dollars of Bitcoin. Will we get there? I don't know, but I think that's certainly within the realm a possibility preach. Now, the top investment strategist at Bitwise says the Bitcoin is currently in an appreciation phase similar to what gold went through in the early 1970s, right after the U.S. government ended the gold standard, a monetary system where the U.S. dollar was convertible into a fixed amount of gold. Quitting him here, Bitcoin is the new digital gold. It is better than gold and everything gold tries to do. You can move it faster. It's harder to fake. It's easier to store and it's harder to falsify. It's the new gold. And if I'm right, people are going to think of it, Bitcoin, long term as a legitimate way to store wealth. It's going through that same appreciation phase as gold. This is when you want to own stores of value, when the world is figuring out that they are valuable, when they are emerging stores of value. And that's where Bitcoin is. That's why it's been the best performing asset in the world over the last 10 years and I think it has huge potential in the future because still very few people own it. So there you have it. What are your thoughts surrounding his half a million dollar Bitcoin price prediction? Let me know in the comments below and to watch this entire video he did, check out the show notes below the video in the description. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Brett Hallman wrote, you are crypto fam, been following you since mid 2019, have your podcast on daily. You have given a lot of support and innovation to us all. Thanks again for all your hard work. Much love fam. Hoddle. The next featured comment comes from the Coin Father. Great show, JV. We are heading back down to the Bitcoin levels I said a month ago, 18 to 21,000. I still catch you on the podcast when I missed your live show this last week. Military life keeps me busy and managing my extended family crypto slash stocks portfolio. I stay busy, keep up the great work, and thanks for keeping us updated in the crypto news. You got it, Coin Father. 
one love. And our third and final featured comment comes from Jeff. You're an all-star JV. You supply the viewers of the tube with true premium content. Strong hand, buddy. I am not selling until I can buy a lot and build a house with a single Bitcoin. And at that point, hopefully, I won't have to sell because it'll be priced in Bitcoin. So there you have it. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop a comment below. And to qualify to win $50 in tomorrow's $50 Bitcoin giveaway, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, Will Smith, that like button, and drop a comment below. And a random comment will be selected that is the winner on tomorrow's episode. I wish you all the best of luck and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's show. Peace.